Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the best priced Class A diesel pusher you can buy for the year 2023. This is the 2023 Coachman Sports Coach Model 339DS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the sports coach and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Sports Coach 339DS, the best price Class A diesel in the RV industry. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. Hey, I just wanna remind you guys that this RV is gonna be at the Ocala RV Show, which is uh, March 2nd through the 5th at the Ocala Horse Park. Yes, ma'am. So make sure you guys attend. And we're gonna be there as well, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Unfortunately, we won't be there Sunday the 5th, but Andrea, we will have special Matt's cash there at the Ocala show, so we can't wait to see everybody. Without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Coachman Sports Coach 339DS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet 3 inches. This sits on the custom Freightliner chassis. It has the Cummins ISB 340 horsepower with 700 pound feet of torque. Andrea, this is an absolute fantastic motorhome and it's a diesel pusher, which means the diesel engine's in the rear. So up front here, we do have a Cummins Onan generator. It's a 6,000 generator. It's very fantastic. Now, Andrea, what I love about Sports Coach is the headlight design is the look, is the oversized bus style mirrors. It's such a phenomenal motorhome at a phenomenal price. And this is also one of the smallest ones out there. Big, again, bus style mirrors here. This is Coachman, it's diesel. You do have your side cameras right there. And you have frameless windows right here, Andrea. And this is actually a doggy window. Jen, please put Union Tucker, bing, right there so everybody can see. We absolutely love our furry friends. They can travel with us here. And Andrea, notice the mid-entry door. So there's no front bus style door like typical diesels. That's why you're able to get this and you're able to get this. Really nice storage right up front here. Now these are aluminum slam latch doors. This one swings up, the other one swing to the side. Very nice feature. Look at these tires, straight in the Michelins. I love those. 255-80R 22.5 with the shiny Accuride rims. And Andrea, this is a diesel pusher, so you are gonna get that phenomenal air ride suspension. Very nice power awning with LED lights. And you know what's not on this side, Andrea? Slides. No slide outs. Right here, fuel fill up, it's 90 gallons. You can access that on both sides. And then again, check out this storage. Wow. Now this, what, what helps keep the price point down is this sits on an XCS chassis, which is straight rail. So it's not raised rail or a modular chassis. So you're not gonna get that amazing pass-through storage. But again, this is like $100,000 less than most of those diesels, minimum 100,000. You know, you start getting it up into that three, four, $500,000 price tag once you get features like that. Right here, we do have a very nice TV on the outside. And because this is Coachman, they use Asdell. Asdell is a composite panel and it will never delaminate on you. Love that feature. Oh, snap! Oh, is that like a little cooler? Or is it a fridge? Oh, it's a mini fridge. Oh, man. Oh, got a little drawer there. Hang on a second. I wasn't ready for this. All right. That's cool. Look, it's got like a countertop on top of it. Yes, ma'am. So you can prep stuff. Got a wow. little fridge. You know what this is great for? People who have pets like us and their pets eat raw food. Yes. You can keep it refrigerated in there. Love that feature. Or if you just like to have beer on the outside. On the outside, on the outside. Right there, Andre, we do have some storage and there is a little pass through. But again, that straight rail is what helps keep the price point down. Electrical outlet. Yes, ma'am. Nice frameless windows. And then these swing up. DEF fluid. 
All right, inverter. <laughs> yep, 2,000 watt inverter and a little bit more storage. Very nice. And then right there, Andrea, is a nice big water heater. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap here. 10,000 pound hitch. Now, it doesn't mean you can tow 10,000 pounds. You're good with six, seven, 8,000 pounds. Be careful with how much, what you want to do. You want to take your GCWR and subtract it from your GVWR. That's how you're going to figure out how much you can tow. Andrea, always know. Before you tow. Yes, ma'am. And again, diesel pusher, here's where it's at. You got your backup camera there. And Andrea, there is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Okay, Matt, hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. There's already a solar panel up here on the roof. And then right here, you can see that it does have a King Air. Take your time. Two steps, Matt. Last step. Great. Wow. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Check this out. Right there. Right there. And Power right there. Board. Oh. Storage, batteries, propane. propane. Battery bank. And then, Miss Jen, if you could put the specs right here. Bing. So everybody can see who's watching on television. All right. And then, wrapping up, Andrea, coming on down here. Here's Ooh, your wet bay. Nice Fantastic. Wet bay. It's where you dump your tanks, outdoor shower, black tank fill, potable water. Potable. Potable. Black tank flush, water filtration system. Over here's the other side of that storage. Okay. I love these slam latch doors. More storage there. Okay. More storage here. And then here's the other your side of your fuel. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Oh, and then look at this. Oh, snap. I didn't even know it was a slide out. And again, here's that Onan 6000 generator. Most of the time, it's not slide out on the entry level stuff. That is a high end feature that I absolutely love. Well, Andrea, the outside of the sports coach looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. 3,658 pounds. All right. Carrying That's capacity. awesome. All right. Coming in, we have the slide in and I'm walking through to come up front. I still have plenty of space. Even with the slide in, as you can see, totally doable. Walking through here, opens up a lot more. You can definitely open the fridge. Walking through, we have a split bathroom. Let's see, there's a toilet and yay, the master bed you can use with the slide in. I love that. Yes, ma'am, and Andrea, while we get the slide outs out, we gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Do you love your pet as much as we do? Do you agree that they deserve the best? Then you need to check out Waggle, the best RV pet monitoring system. Waggle is a top-notch pet temperature monitor. It's made just for your pooch. Whether you're traveling in an RV or staying at home, you can assure your pet is safe with Waggle in three easy steps. Install Waggle in your RV, track it by downloading the app, and get peace of mind on your app when you're out on your adventure. And what's more is Waggle also gives you real-time updates on your pets. Let's keep your pet safe with the RV Pet Temperature Monitor, trusted by 10,000 pet parents in the RV community. Click our link down below and use promo code MATT55 for this video only on the Integra Esteem. Again, thank you so much to Waggle for sponsoring this video. Let's continue the video. Andrea, this is one of the smallest diesel pushers on the planet, but it still kind of works really well, especially if somebody wants a diesel pusher, but their goal is to hit a ton of state and national parks. This thing just works well. It's small and compact, but not too small or too compact. You know what I'm saying? And it's a diesel. Hey, oh yeah, brother. Right over here, Freightliner. We got our auto leveling controls right here. 
a place to set your cell phone here, map light, air horn, adjustable power mirrors, your light controls right there. Right tire. here, tire pressure monitoring system, it comes on this. And then check this, Andrea, the nice digital dash from Freightliner. You have the analog stick um, for drive, neutral, and reverse. Air brake, here's your uh, window controls. You got cruise control and everything right up here. I love this. Here's where I adjust everything. Air conditioning, charger center. Look at that, one, two, three, four, I love that. Right here's your screen. You're able to see left side, right side, in reverse. You're able to have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and everything that you want. Cup holders right there. Yes, ma'am, I got that. And then right here, we have a little bit of drawer. Both seats do swivel around, and you have a little pedestal table that can go there. But that pedestal table can also go by your feet, Andrea. Yes, that's nice. I mean, because it doesn't have a workstation, but you could put the pedestal table yes, right here. Yes, yes. So I've got an electrical outlet over here, okay. which is nice. And just a little cubby. How do you feel? Oh, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. So I like that both seats do swivel. Yes. So have more seating. Yes. And we've got nice frosted cabinetry up here. Very nice. Storage. Oh yeah. And then a little bit more storage there. Oh, heavy. And Andrea, I forgot two things about yes, this chassis. Yes, I heard air horn. Hang on. First and foremost, this does have the telescoping steering wheel in out up and down you set it to the right place it's going to drive like a freaking dream air ride suspension which is phenomenal and if it does have air ride suspension <laughs> that means it has an air horn Dang. That's what it's we about. We scared everybody, probably. <laughs> That's what it's about, Andrea. That's right. Then, what's also a phenomenal feature is, even though this is a diesel pusher, because it's the mid-door, it does not have... Uh, the, it, because it's a mid-door, the bunk over the cab isn't blocking the door. You know what I'm saying? So, you have this extra sleeping area, and it's not blocking your exit. I love that. Very easy to drop down and to drop up. Now, 500 pounds it holds. Yeah, now here's what I will say. A lot of people are commenting like, oh, the electric ones probably break too much. They really don't. Um, or they're like, oh, Coachman's just getting cheap. They really aren't. I feel like, well, I feel like it's a combination of both, right? Like, hey, these are less likely to break and they are cheaper, so it's a win-win. Right, and maybe they're doing something higher end in here and took the cost off the bed. Right, exactly. And, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, this is for the non-paying customers anyway. They can sleep in a tent. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I like it that it doesn't have, it's not a machine. The machines. Now, I like the TV placement. Look storage at that. Storage there. Well, there let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is storage behind the TV. Nice. Fantastic. Right over here, we have a nice dinette side on your campsite so you can sit here and look out. Check out these valances, huh? Oh. Check them out. Would you look at that? Approved! Bing! Oh, Andrea loves these valances. What's also really nice, Andrea, is that you do have the MCD daytime shades and privacy shades. Again, very high-end feature on not a high-end motorhome, which I'm which I'm liking, you know, and I don't say that in a rude way. I say that in like an exciting way, you know what I'm saying? Right here, you do have a dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Matt, the dinette is really low. It is low. And then right here, we got storage underneath there. So all clothes. Yep, and storage underneath there. And then again, as Andrea said, it is across from the TV. So you have a really good viewing spot for the television. Now that I think is very comfortable. Oh yeah. Nice head support, cup holders here. This reclines out and it's just super duper comfortable. Then we have a window there and then storage above here. Yeah, Check that nice, out. Nice pretty frosted cabinetry above. Yes. Very nice, three of them. And what I'm seeing in here is they're doing the brown wood. I guess they have an option for the white, but I, I you know, I like seeing stuff that's different. So. And you know what? Even though it's brown and a little darker, it's still not dark in here. I love all the LED lights yes. Coachman's doing. Coachman's definitely making some of the brightest motorhomes. And I spent the weekend uh, by the in, um, by the Coachman Encore, and people were just saying they they love the energy that they felt in it. You know right. what I'm saying? It's bright, it's open, it's spacious. It's just it's a just, very beautiful, nice. yeah, it's just really beautifully designed. Right over here we have more storage. 
And then we have a beautiful kitchen. But Andrea, before we look at that kitchen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right. MSRP, MSRP on this motorhome here is $318,394, Andrea. MSRP. We have it discounted over $100,000 to a sale price at 32% off to $215,995, Andrea. That is fan freaking tastic. And Andrea, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, we sell these nationwide. Please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked it down below. You can get there via our website or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way that you can. And we promise you guys, we'll get you the absolute best price in America. There's two things I want to add. One, this unit is going to be at the Ocala RV show. So we are going to have additional mats cash, you know, to help with the price. So make sure you visit us there and make sure you have your mats cash. But not only that, Andre, what I would like to say is that's for stock number, whatever. I don't know the stock number, but that's for this unit here. Um, I don't know if all the 23s are going to be priced that well. But if the price goes up, just know that the discount's still going to be the same, if that makes sense. It's just a really aggressive price that we have on this unit. Just make sure you guys act fast. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Show us this awesome kitchen. Okay. Uh, right here, looks like we've got a microwave. Good size. Uh, three burner propane magic chef cooktop. Ooh, magic chef. And an oven. Very, Very nice. nice. Look at this. I, love, I always love the countertop in here. Wow. So pretty. Solid surface. Beautiful. And a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power right there. Not a fan of this backsplash. Though. Excuse me? Yeah. Mick, excuse me? Hang on. you got to repeat that to the camera. You said you're a huge fan of the backsplash? I'm not a fan of it. Okay, it's hang just, on. It, it looks too blah in here. I highly disagree. I don't know. Comment down below. Uh, let's see. What's this? Oh, oh pull like out a countertop. Little, that's as far as it goes? I guess. Hmm. All right. Interesting. All right. So we've got two drawers, soft clothes. Okay. Bigger one down here. Very nice. And a cabinet up here. Okay. Beautiful farmhouse sink. Good size with an extension. Okay. Very nice. And then underneath we've got a little bit of storage, not a lot. Very nice. Now let me see what's in here. Oh, this is interesting. little oh. pantry space. Yeah, I mean, it's just maybe for spices. That's a lot of spices. I don't think that's anything. I'm kind of afraid to, oh, maybe it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Over here, we have more storage above the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. We've got a GE residential refrigerator. Very nice. Look at how big that is. Runs off your inverter and electricity. And then you even get a pantry. Wow. wow look at that that's look, huge it is look there's a drawer there wow yes and then there's another drawer my goodness okay pocket door right here going into the uh split bathroom let me check her out there is another pocket door right here that's as well nice okay decent size shower it's a 24 by 36 definitely not the best definitely not the worst um, you got the nice shower head right here and everything. It's just really, really nice. I like how it's one piece. Now, I like this. They gave you the two separate doors, like the pocket doors and the bathroom door yes, here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right over here. Hope you're watching, Joe Mullins. <laughs> oh, seriously. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Right over here, we have storage there. How do you like this wallpaper back I here? I don't. Oh, I like that too. Andrea, <laughs> your taste is going downhill. I like it. I don't it. think so. Yes, ma'am. Right it looks there. like the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, nothing wrong with that. Right here, we have uh, storage underneath here. Guys, I think the vanity light there is cute. 
Yes, hang on, we got more storage right here. Oh, storage machine. Yes, tons and tons of storage. And then right here we do have a nice mirror medicine cabinet. And oh, wow. Liquify. This is our brand of black tank chemical on right? You can get this down in the YouTube description below or go to primepoopposition.com. Guys, thank you to everybody who's been buying it. It truthfully is, even though even though we're we own the company. I'm telling you guys, it truth. Read the reviews on read Amazon. Read the reviews. We're not being partial. It really is an it, amazing product. It really is the best. So make sure you guys check that out, and make sure you check out the National RV Training Academy. They just did a review on that, and actually, by the time we're recording this video, that video comes out tonight. So I don't know if it's positive. Hopefully, it's positive, <laughs> because um, we're gonna. I mean that, we're. As the NRBTA are the ones as that... unbiased as we claim, there's always going to be a little bit of bias, yes. but they're a third party, so right. I'm excited. And they're going to be honest about it. And I hope it's good. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Andrea. Yeah, if not, we're scrapping this whole video. No, I'm just kidding. Right here, we do have more storage. Another TV with wow. more storage there. It's a very interesting setup. Another one. And then right over here big cabinetry. I love all the walk around space in here. Big drawers, I mean. Look at that. I mean, with the slide open, look at all the walk yeah. around space. We've got, ooh. Very nice. Is that just a closet? Yeah, it's huge. Wow. It's not prepped for a washer dryer there because right here, Andrea, Yay! is prepped for a side by side washer and dryer. Oh, wow. How about that? I'm loving it. And if you don't need that, you have all of this wardrobe space. Right over here, we have storage. And then right over here, we have even more storage. And then we've got this nice king size bed here. Yes, Very nice opposing windows with electrical outlet and USBs. Yes, nice headboard there. CPAP station, Andrea, which is super nice. And then right there, oh yeah, more storage. Cute headboard. I love the decor. I love the side window valances as well, the side windows. And Andrea's tapping the bed. Let's see. Wow, wow, look at that storage. Huge storage. Holy moly. Yes, ma'am. And there is something that I would like to add, which is going to be right over here. A little seat. Mm, oh, tire yeah. shoe. You know what I'm saying? One, two, buckle your shoe. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't love. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. First? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't have very many. I do have one on the outside, so let's kick it over to that. Andrea, dislike number one for me, 50 amp power cord, even though this is the best price, class A diesel push in the country, when it's diesel, I want it to have an electric power cord reel. I know I sound like a broken record on these entry level diesels, but for me, this is a huge power cord. It's heavy. I just want to push a button. That's this like number one. What's this like number two? Andrea, that's this like number one. What's this like number okay. two? This like number two for me is going to be the dinette. What? Talk to me. The dinette is very, very low. Okay. Um, Although it's not really hard for me, people that might have knee problems might have a hard time getting up and down from here. So I would just be aware. Just depends on how tall yeah, you are. It just depends on how tall you are. But okay. it is very low. Andre, that's number two. And then I do have a number third. And I forgot it, but you remind me when you came over here. Number three, Andrea, for me, is going to be these theater is seats. It the struggle? No, the struggle is me. But when these theater seats are out, look at the walk space. You're completely blocking the walk space with these theater seats. You know what I'm saying? It's not like some other motorhomes that have opposing slides where somebody can, you know, like like somebody's gonna have to do the Macarena or you're gonna need to come up. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just not a big walk area. It's a small motorhome. Right. That's three things we don't like about it, Andrea. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Would you like to go first? Sure. I'm going to say I really, okay, this is weird, but I like the TV placement. Talk to me. I like it that it's there and it's not like on a televator. Okay. Because that happens a lot or it's just on the wall with windows. I like it like this because you're, you still have storage behind. Yeah. You still have the storage next to it. Love it. That is number one, Andrea. Number two. Number two for me, I'm going to say, are you going to say something? 
Oh, oh you, you do number I, two. I would say all the storage in here. Talk to me. All the storage in here is crazy. Yes. So with it being a smaller yep. uh, diesel pusher, it's incredible the storage in and out. I was going to say the washer dryer so that we can combo that together. So that's number two. But Andre, number three for me, I'm going to say the price. And again, American, you know, blah, 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 right? Guys, when you compare this to the other competitors that we sell at General RV, that's an entry level diesel, this freaking blows it out of the water. Asdell, full body paint, aluminum slam latch doors, king size bed, Freightliner chassis, 340 horsepower Cummins engine. A lot of them in this size and price points doing a 300 horsepower. Fiberglass roof, you know what I'm saying? Slide outs on this side, still beautiful with the solid surface countertops, Andrea. Pound for pound, this is the Floyd Mayweather of motorhomes. This is just a awesome small diesel pusher, phenomenal unit at a phenomenal price point. And I hate making price point my um my third like. You know what I'm saying? I hate doing but that. But you kind of have to with this one. You have to. It's the best price. And again, you get all these features. Fan for, fan and a beautiful, beautiful made motorhome. Andrea, that's it. That's a review. That's the Coachman Sports Coach. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get to it from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Again, this unit will be at the Ocala RV Show March 2nd through the 5th. Odds are it's going to sell there, but we're going to do everything in our power to make sure the next one's this price as well. But just so everybody knows, the next one might be a little bit more, but don't worry. We will always be able to get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments and they do watch the videos. Mm -hmm. so please leave your feedback. Guys, don't forget about the um, Ocala RV show. Yes. March 2nd through the 5th at the Ocala Horse Park. Yes, ma'am. The address right there on the screen. Yeah, so make sure you attend that if you can. Thanks, guys, for watching. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Thank you.